Today we're talking about The Bourne Legacy, which is probably the last big movie of the summer that people are looking forward to. This is a Bourne movie without Matt Damon. We've come to know him and love him in that role. This is the movie that launches Jeremy Renner in a Bourne-like role. The important word is legacy. Mm -hmm. This is not con necessarily continuing Jason Bourne, but it is in the style of Bourne, which is to say it's all about mixed identity, confusion as to who you are, are you programmed to be someone else? It's also about changing chasing around the world. It's also about outsmarting mysterious evil guys. In all of these aspects, I think the movie really works beautifully. And I've always been a Jeremy Renner kind of girl. I think he absolutely nails it. I want to follow him to the next and the next and the next. I think he's onto something great. Well, I totally agree with you. You know what I love about the Bourne movies mm -hmm. is that they seem to be about something. They're about, Almost. you know, the fate of the world and America and spies and all this stuff. But they're really about nothing. This <laughs> movie is just a game. And yet it plugs you into the moment. Mm. And Tony Gilroy gives you a feeling of urgency that I think Hitchcock would have loved. He creates this illusion that what's happening at any moment really matters. And yet it doesn't. And that's the light brilliance of this film. And I agree with you about that. I also like, in this case, the romantic connection is played by Rachel Weisz. She plays a research scientist who is working with the rogue programmed whoever he is, who goes by the name of Aaron. Let's call him Aaron for this. And they end up having some sort of connection. Of course, you can never trust anybody in these movies, which I also love. And you know what I've come to love? I always like when there's the crawl across the bottom that tells us we're in Manila, we're in Chicago, we're in New York, we're in DC. I just want to travel around the world with these guys. There are a lot of conventions from this series that the movie preserves, but I also right. liked how Tony Gilroy put his stamp on it. The Paul Greengrass Bourne films were defined by this very very, very fast cutting and by a lot of action. I mean, when I think of those films, I think of Matt Damon just kicking ass, right. basically. An interesting thing in this movie is that although it has incredible movement, it's not really a hand-to-hand -hand combat action film. There's a little of that, and when it finally happens, it's exhilarating, but it's a little more of a quiet drama. Yes. And Jeremy Renner, you're right, he just imparts an electricity to every moment, even when he's just sitting there doing nothing. He has that magic as an actor he makes every moment matter. I agree, and one of the reasons that I think they can focus on it internally, psychologically, is because Renner's face, he's always had an ability to express a lot quietly, and that becomes its own kind of excitement. I was really quite exhilarated by this movie. I think that this movie really continues the trend that the Bourne films kind of are like what the Bond films used to be. They are movies in which nothing is at stake, <laughs> and yet they give you the feeling that everything is at stake. And not only that, but this has been set up in a way that I actually want to know what he's going to do next. I want to see what this character does next. Perfect way to move forward.